Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Downtown Burbank. Carmen Town is now in session. Let's bring out Spencer Crenton. It's good to be back. All right, to my right we have... Steve <laughs> Levy! <laughs> and the mayor of Harmontown himself, Mr. Dan Harmon! <clears throat> Thank you. Wow. All right. Welcome to epi- the second episode that we've done in studio. I love it. Um, thank you, Rob Schraub, our guest comptroller. You're welcome. So Ooh. we're streaming live now is the difference between this uh, week and last week. So now we're actually, even though we don't feel live, we are live. Um, so don't run into, don't launch into one of your Zionist rants, uh, Levy. <laughs> I'll about, try not about, to. About how certain people are owed certain land. Yep, it's, yep, it's, yep. It's, it's only going to get us in a lot of hot water. <laughs> um, uh, so t- tonight I want to just talk about um, stuff which it feels, it feels weird to talk about anything because we're in a completely different medium. Like now you just hear your own voice and you feel like it feels more legitimate. It feels like I'm a radio show host. Yes. It feels like I'm supposed to have a point of view or anything like that. But I'm going to confine my points of view to my myself like I'm always supposed to do. It's a comedy podcast. It is. I am a comedy podcast personality. People come here for the the laughs, the funny things. My point of view. This is these are these are things that you've thought up, and you're going to bring it to the attention of the audience. Yeah. So these are uh, humorous uh, items. But I do think we're going to end up talking a lot about the uh, Harvey Weinstein thing and uh, the explosion that's resulted. What happened? I'll explain in a second. All right, let's. Uh, we should probably do like some kind of title sequence for for this segment, right? Oh, the har- the har- har- you, you want to skip right to that the headline item? Yeah. Cause... Okay, here comes Stan Harmon's headlines. Oh, oh, this is the overview. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I keep biting my own lip, uh, uh, and not in a sexy way. Uh, that's one of the things that. Which uh, part? Uh, the inside, like like right on, on the, the inside side corner of my lip. Do you the get middle. cankers? Do you I, get cankers? I do now. I've created my. It's a self-created canker. This is the headline. Let's not go. Let's not let the okay, I'll preview back text go longer I'll back than two off. lines. Back it off. That's number one. Uh, number two, Dick and Morty. The uh, oh, the, the, the <laughs> I saw a trailer for a Rick and Morty porn right. parody that I, I that. I don't even. I haven't even stopped to examine whether truly, my feelings are good, bad, or anything. I'm just excited. It's the best of both worlds. How many? You have the <laughs> yeah. the tangible, uh, nominal name recognition and basic physical uh, resemblance to Rick and Morty, and then you have real people having sex. It's truly what some weirdo who has a weird fetish for Rick and Morty would like, and not just you know. An asshole's interpretation of what one of those fans would like. It's a. Uh, no, we're, we're talking about this a lot longer than just a headline. Oh shit! Sorry. I don't want to be like a the, oh, the, the, the rule guy. I'm Back sorry. It off. One item, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I watched my cousin Vinny, and it kind of holds up in in some ways. <laughs> yeah. Love okay. It. Good. Do, oh, oh. Uh, the the Me Too Facebook thing. It's kind of a that's kind of a related to the Weinstein thing. The, <laughs> the, the, the thing. Uh, Rose McGowan. Uh, McGowan. Uh, whether whether we should. Uh, you're gonna I, coming that, well, and that, going. That was one of my. It might is it is it Gowan or Gowan? I think it's Gowan. Yeah, I think it's McGowan. All right. Well, Rose McGowan. Well, let's let's have a let's have a let's have a big Rose conversation Mc- about what how we're how we are and aren't supposed to say things, starting with the word M- M- McGowan McGowan. But that's all the same thing. That the Me Too Facebook thing and the uh, Weinstein thing. That's all the same topic. What's the Me Too Facebook? Thing? Yeah. You yeah, say me, too. me too. That's something Cody told me about. Is that, but but if I start talking about it, okay, 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 okay. we're still in the title sequence. Jeez. Then I wrote down power dynamics, just because. Uh, th- but th- really, isn't that the same thing? And then I wrote down the word. I, I wrote down the word sex worker. Let's start with that because that's just that, that just has such a quick shelf. Sex life. worker. Let's call this segment. Um. Uh. What? 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 Are, what? Are, what's? What's? Uh. What did I miss? Or, How do you know when you're finished? Uh. Uh. The. The. I. 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 How long? <sighs> The 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 word prostitute is problematic now, right? Yeah. I, I, this I'm I'm you at home. I'm not doing a sarcastic bit where I'm like going like you tell me exactly. But that is what I'm doing. But I'm not doing it in parody. I'm, I'm being sincere. 
and wanted to talk about words that enter the radar that I don't know how long how much longer than the word prostitute has been um uh, is it on the chopping block that I've been using it. Well, it's the is oldest it profession. What'd you say? You're it's the oldest profession. profession. It's but <sighs> um it's so but there's the What's idea problematic. I would I would well, I don't I don't know. I don't think that's any I, I think sex worker is a more encompassing term that applies to more people, but I don't know that prostitute is necessarily. I mean, it might be. What? Is, what's the difference? Well, you could uh, be, for instance, like a. I don't want to say a cam whore, but you could be a cam model, and that's not necessarily a prostitute, but it is sex work. Hmm. Is a is a is adult film acting? A, a yeah, you would call that worker? sex work. They're not offended by uh, being lumped in with. Um, uh, the, the, is it that we're knocking off? Are we merging the idea that sex work is sex work and because we want to not say, because it's too like biblical and provincial probably to go, well, your sex work involves um, uh, really meaning it or something like like we're, we've been we've been ha it's these divisions that that need to go probably as part of it. I think it's uh, prostitute is uh, I mean it's only one kind of sex work and so. If you're like, oh, you're just a prostitute, and they're like, no, I'm a sex worker, then it's like you're kind of putting them in a more narrow box where they meet people and have sex with them when that might not be what's for sale. You know, like even like even a dominatrix might not just meet people and have sex with them, but they're right. almost certainly a sex worker. Yeah, I've I, I had an ex girlfriend who worked. At, she worked as a. She never she never touched anybody. She right. was a, she her job was to like whip guys in a dungeon. Something happened to my microphone or my headphones or my <laughs> ego, in, in, in that I and I can't hear myself. I can hear all. you. I can hear you fine. <laughs> all right. So but, you can't hear your voice at all in your cans. It's like it's like drifting in and out now, mm -hmm. like as if I'm subject to some kind of voice activated uh, network. That maybe that's... you're uh, maybe you're losing your hearing. Right. So, uh, it, great. The, 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 now's the time to find out. All right. So it's like it's it's hard to have these conversations because I want to like I, can, I sound like what I know the bad guy in my head sounds like when I have potentially passive aggressive conversations which is not what i'm trying to do about the actual i'm fascinated and i do welcome the evolution of language i see i don't i'm not i'm not a person that wants to caution against the slippery slope of modifying language even though i was 20 years ago like now i look at it differently and i'm fascinated by it mm. that's why I, I i like having these conversations where i have like a like like you it's it's not every day that you you someone <laughs> lets you know that a word you're using is like changing in its like fashion fa fashionability is that how this um, started you were you were saying it's like well you know these prostitutes and someone went <laughs> yeah i can't remember and i'm not gonna I, 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 it's not it's not anecdote worthy that conversation okay it, it, not at all Backing it's, off. It, it's it's more like uh it's it, I, I, I here's what here's what kind of interests me about it is like we don't have a, 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 a we don't we don't we, how do you tell well, there's no newsletter and that's what the bad guys say well so why don't you tell me the rules like and it's like no why don't you why don't you fucking think uh but well when was i supposed to think about that as opposed to salt pepper and other words that i use completely unconsciously and uh, this ties into everything that we'll, we'll be talking about that isn't funny because it's not a comedy podcast and I'm, I'm not being funny. And I, I don't I, I, why did the chicken do, do the thing? I don't know, because he felt disempowered. I, 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 I'm going to talk about whatever I want to talk about. I, 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 I know that I keep doing this where I keep lashing out at a hypothetical audience and saying that I hate you. And you're like, we didn't hate you. Why are you yelling at me? I, I, but I, I do. I, I just like if you're right now, if you're judging me, I, you know who you are. I don't. I, I judge you back. I judge you harder. I judge you first. I, 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 I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't. I never liked you. And me liking you means means more than you not liking me. You're done. You lost. You're in a crater. You're not even a person. You're a crater with shoes that just moves around wherever you stand identifies the point where I have I have power over you. So stop judging me. You've been judged. I'm going to proceed with my podcast. I don't know if I'm going to be funny, political, what side I'm on. I don't know what, what when I'm talking and when there's diarrhea coming out of my mouth that's doing good and when it's doing bad. I just talk, and it's, it's become my job. I've given it to myself as a job. Here's how I feel tonight about the following things. Sorry I said all that. No. All right. Here we go. So top, topic number one or descending order? Well, okay. My therapist said... Uh huh. You know what's happening right now? 
men, women, Weinstein, whatever, the language arguments, everything. What's happening right now is a revolution of consciousness versus unconsciousness. So all of the things that you're doing and saying and being without thinking about them, that has become the new thing that we're recognizing as problematic. And what we're starting to put a higher value on and trying to create a, a society based on is the are the things that we're thinking about. Say say that again. It's 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 where we the, um it's consciousness versus unconsciousness. Okay, so the like we were, we we've come out of an era of celebrating unconsciousness. So like, can you give me an example of the old era versus the new era? Yeah, like the the archetype of the narcissist being like kind of a hero. Like like that's the, the old way. Yeah. Okay. Like we're starting to we're start the the narc, narcissism is starting to be looked at not uh. It's not like anti-hero, cool, like, like, oh, you're another person that isn't thinking about anybody but themselves, and you're sucking your thumb and stamping your feet. That was pretty chic three and a half fiscal quarters ago, socially. And we're just, the bubble has burst on that market. I'm putting I'm putting words in my therapist's mouth because she does not think right, of right, things right. in terms of... I mean, I, I, I'm trying to, I'm I'm trying trying to, to figure, figure, like, like okay, okay, so when I think... Narcissist, like in terms in terms of like television and movie, I think of like somebody like Ted Danson in in Cheers. Mm-hmm. Is that the old way, or people are starting? People used to think like, oh, that guy's like a scoundrel, he's an asshole. But now is that per- person a hero, or is it the opposite? I think we're starting to we're starting to that's g- gone out of fashion. If you pitch okay. that character, okay, that's Jeff Winger from Cheers, right? That's Larry David and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Okay, okay, this is every this is everybody, right? This is everybody is now this a, is this is all the funny. Uh, uh, this is the funny from like for a long right. time, and the new hero is like say what? Is there a new example like J J Baruchel? <laughs> people who know themselves, people who are lo- I, I don't I, you're you're I I I I know you're not doing doing anything. You're not trying to do anything to me to, to no hurt no me. I'm uh, to, I'm trying to understand I, yeah I feel like you're you're tumbling me over into a hole like 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 where mm. I'm pitching you what's funny and what's not funny no 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 a- no I just want to understand what you're what, what, uh, I I'm a visual person so you know I'm just I'm trying to follow you I can back off back off sorry, no 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 just stick or let's, let's coming let's, back let's think about ourselves for okay. a second all right so uh, how much have you been thinking about what you actually feel like what you want to be right and wrong and what you stuff like for instance you in the time that i've known you you uh became like a a, a animal person yes like and that and yeah. that graduated from your love of your dog to um not that i'm tracing your your evolution i'm just saying like w- that's how i remember the events happening and then there was a certain point where you you became vegetarian or vegan and you became like you don't you don't you don't you think that you 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 became guided by a new principle you 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 and it was based on you deciding for yourself that you don't want regardless of what you think is right for the world or what everyone should do you had to start with yourself and you had to go i like animals like i don't want to hurt them Yes, and that changed about you. Yeah, that's you... that 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 is that is something that's a major change. So, what if, you know, like, what if what's going on with the Weinstein thing is like a chance for uh, guys like me to, you know, have a similar level of of, of inventory taking about our relationship with women, mm-hmm. which just equated them with food, but uh, <laughs> could be part of the point. But but like. I have been, I don't know about you, but I imagine every guy has been kind of like uh, uh, looking past the shoebox of what you're, uh, like what is supposed to be happening, and then you've been checking in with like some lower gut, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, just in terms of like in the last couple of years, like just, I like Kate has really helped me like see things that I haven't noticed before because it's been so normalized, you know, in terms of like entertainment and and TV and and just how people treat each other and and I'm blind to it because I I'm the only person that I've ever been uh and 
you know, I have my own problem. So, you know, like see, having Kate like kind of point things out to me, it starts being more and more aware. And then when things like this start happening, uh, you know, the, the shit that's happening with, with Rose McGowan on, on Twitter and, uh, you know, like everybody coming out and just it's it is it, I do feel like, oh, man, you know, why have I I've been a part of the problem for right. a, my entire life. You've you been know, going just, back through your whole life, yeah. haven't you, for the last Absolutely. couple weeks? The same way I, when I went vegan, like, uh, I mean, it, I went went that way because of absolute like guilt and have been such a um, like overzealous, you know, trying to find like that that happy medium where I'm, you know, trying to tell people what I'm going through and why it happened and 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 without, you know, putting people off, you know, which which, you know, this is, you know, what women, you know, you know, like they're in that same position where they're like, no, you got to listen to me. This is what I'm going through. But you don't want to be a buzzkill, a pain. No one wants to hear anybody whine and complain about stuff like th- like that. You know? Right. Well, well there's they, a, yeah, people there's don't want to feel guilty. They don't want they don't want to feel uncomfortable and guilty, so they avoid the conversation, or they roll their eyes, or they walk away. Or... Well, we're all having conversations right now where we're yeah. catching ourselves in each other in at a rate of like way for, for me way faster, more infractions per minute too, because that's the topic that's mm-hmm. being talked about. So it's kind of like it's like. One thing I want to say to my uh, my brother out there um, and bones uh, <laughs> is which was, why are you raising my niece on Facebook? I, um, I, 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 I I've never met her. Are you really that mad? I talked about you. Um, uh, the, the, no, the, my actual brother, my, which is the public, um, but the, and the male half of that public, like I, I keep thinking to myself, I keep going like, you know what? Uh, what we're watching play out is is this there's this part of it that we own which is the the easy part it's the it's the not thinking about it part where because don't you find yourself every day uh, like like uh is that like thinking something and then because you're old and rich and bored and tired maybe like let's get let's give a break to our our more amped up uh 20 year old brethren who because i just remember being a piece of fucking shit the further back you go Mm -hmm. so i can't judge today's 23 year old because if i was a guest on this podcast at the age of 23 i as a 44 year old minus that awareness would would like make a fucking huge show of telling him what a big dumb piece of shit he was yeah. and it wouldn't help him well it's just you know it's like you know old people telling it's like oh, why do you gotta dress like that why do you listen to that garbage music it's not real music or whatever and you know it's just how because they're new to the world and they're they're trying out stuff and, and there aren't any classes no, in any of there this should because be. you can't charge money for it effectively without becoming litigatable yeah. in other words we don't have a culture no. we don't have like we we used to, we make we rightfully make fun of our forebears for having these like these horrible classes societies that and part of it was okay here's the book on whether a woman gets into an elevator first and all of this shit and all of that stuff is rightfully like we spit on it, we wipe our asses with it. So uncool. The Fonz doesn't have that book. The Fonz just does. It's all about like uh, th- that American value system of like why would you ever? Why would you have a, a rule book for interacting with blah blah blah? It's great that we threw that in the furnace and all that stuff. And then now you have this thing of yeah. like, wait, you mean being fifteen years old and not having ever any conversations about what we're supposed to be doing and what's going on in in, in any fucking way that me, that 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 drives all of society like oh you mean i should just i'll just figure that shit out and part of it'll be owned by my parents and that'll be owned by what city or state they live in and that'll be whatever high school i went to subdivisions what race i am what class i am what income bracket what, what there, there was a freeway within 50 yards of me or a or a or a power line it's like how is that shit so like we 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 done fucked up in one regard. Like we don't have training. We're not we telling have, we kids. We have movies and TV. That's our don't only training. Sex ed classes. But that's not interaction. You know what we? What we? I mean, 
physical interaction. Well, what is, but, so, so, like, let's just put to, like, like, what? Why are you arguing? I don't know what you guys are arguing. Right, right. No, you're you're policing absolute statements. We're right. sa- I'm, I'm making I'm expressing a point, which is we're in a mire of mm-hmm. non-education about how to interact with each well, other. I don't, I don't. I think I think in today in 2017, sex ed classes are maybe more robust than they've ever been. Okay, but but so okay, so Spencer's like argument is that today's society classes, I don't has think there gotten, used to be so, okay. conversations on consent back uh, in the past. All right, so and now there so, are. So right now, mm-hmm. what you're saying is the problem has been solved. No, I don't. Okay. I, I, I'm saying I, there are discussions. I mean, <laughs> like in classrooms, you're saying that there's not. I don't. I think there are. Okay, I think all there's right. an well, issue. I'm not, not going to be able to. I, I, it, yeah, it. A lot of the. No, nothing I say for the next forty to sixty minutes is gonna actually be factual. Okay. Okay. I'm ta- I, I'm pretending. I'm making pretends. Um, the the so we don't have we have no sexual culture in our in in, in modern society. We are we are mystifying it. We are telling each other in random combinations. Um, that it's it's up to you be yourself like uh, oh it's nature it's nurture we don't we are we are it is a fundamental thing about us the way that we interact with each other and it is the most mystical thing it's the thing that we just let be adrift because the alternative would be to have rules for that shit which we interpret as being like a horrible idea because of the culture that we've come from where there were a lot of rules for that shit so, what do we do? How do we combat that without going hierarchical, without going, the, having the pendulum swing back? The only answer is just communication. It's just a, it's a, it's everybody saying when you hear something, when you see something, then you, like we have to like figure out how we actually feel about it, because when we keep talking to each other about it, like I, I, it, we keep we keep doing wrong. I think we've created like a. A, uh, a culture, for instance, to use the women thing that is going on right now, a culture of silence that we can contribute without even knowing it. So how many times, I mean, like we, we don't have to play some weird confession game, but like how complicit do you feel like when you, you see that stuff, you go like, yeah, you know what? I, yeah, I, 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 it gets frustrating because I look back at high school and, and where we were, Nobody sits down and tells you how to interact with people. You know, men, women, you know, young, old, they don't sit you down and you, you're just kind of thrown into the woods and you got to figure it out on your own. And so you get like all these beta males who are, you know, like weaker or not as confident. And then they, they get into these positions of power and they still don't know how to deal with people and they don't know how to deal with you women. You also think, and I'm speaking yeah. for myself, um, you think, as a nerd, that, that there's like this mythology you're following yeah. w- w- from our generation. Let's be specific about that. Like, yeah. and speaking for myself, it's like, oh yeah, like if you're a nerd, then you can compensate. You can become the jock of having of being a nerd with uh, power, with money, yeah. with something to offer. That's what happened with Weinstein. But, I think. And, it, and it gets translated into sex somewhere yeah. in your workflow, unless you're blessed enough to be yeah like neurologically asexual like if you if 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 a it, it somehow gets tied in because there's no conversation about where i i have abused my power dynamic at work i i i didn't know i was doing it when i did it i i didn't i never took notice that i never thought to myself until after the whole thing happened and i looked back and was like why was that such a relative disaster um oh because uh, if you have a crush on someone that works for you, you are not. It's not the same as having a crush on someone at a library or a bar that doesn't work for you. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Yeah. I. But I don't. It's like that is happening on every block in every and then in our industry. It's like because you, you like we're not we're not going like okay I oh shit uh, I have a crush on Stacy. Uh, I wonder. I bet I should just see if she wants to go to that thing or whatever. And you're not. Who's gonna stop and ask themselves? Oh, just, am I really giving Stacy the opportunity to um not be interested in going to see a movie with me? 
and also continuing to know whether or not she's good at being a writer or whether she's good. Yeah. Like, do, do, you don't, like, there is no, there was no, um, but you're going on Batman the ride sign and line that I waited in and documentation. I, I found, I, I got that into my head by doing it wrong. I, I did it wrong. And, and I'm really ashamed of it when I look back on it. Fortunately for me, I'm not like like I I I like I I like I never. It's just like that's part of that nerd thing. Is like yeah, but I know I never did anything. Yeah, and then, and then uh, like, well, the like nerd, but that doesn't matter. It the, does, it's like, like what the problem exists on the root level of your brain is like, what if you could have done something? Yeah, what if you could have gotten you your way? You could have. You could have. You, you only knew. You, are, yeah. you only know at the time like that you what you want, and then yeah. we're, and then you're used to thinking of yourself as an underdog, and you go like, well. I uh, like, like that in the movies and the TV yeah. shows. It's like, oh, the guy that uses everything he's got going for him yeah. to turn things around with a special lady. It's like because it's, you don't play sports, you're not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna be a date rapist because I'm the underdog. I'm the I'm the guy. Well, that's I'm never gonna lonely. be wearing a polo yeah. shirt. I'm yeah. never gonna be wearing a mask. They're never. They'll never be on my yacht. I'll never date yeah. rape anyone. Yeah. Sure. It, 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 every when we yeah so well, I'm not I'm not lecturing anybody watching or listening I'm I'm talking to myself I just want I was eager to when we saw that Terry Crews thing um on Twitter like I like like I fucking like I'm in I'm in a post Terry Crews six tweet thread uh Harmon soul and, and it's not because of what uh, it's it's not it's because of what i realized about myself when i read that thing because i read through it and terry cruz is a gigantic physically fit like uh charming uh, uh alpha beyond alpha dude who's just saying yeah one time i went to a party and my drunk boss came up to me and grabbed my nuts and there was nothing I could do about it. And I was all bummed out and I froze. And then I was like, what the fuck was that? And my wife was like, don't do anything about it, because if you do, what what do you gain versus what do you lose? Blah, blah, blah. I'm not I just put words in Terry Cruz's wife's mouth. That was, that, I paraphrase that. But that was like a conversation. But they that had. was the, the, the she wasn't like argument. Lady, Lady yeah. Macbeth of the Matrix yeah. going like, oh, what have you got to lose by acquiescing to the nut grabbing? No, like, she, like but he, his point was he froze and was like, like and, and then and, and then and then and then it happened. Yeah. And then and then he didn't talk about it, et cetera. Yeah. So his point was, if I can be a victim, you know, now are you listening? And a point well taken. But the but the reason why I am shattered to the core by that story is because I read it, and the entire time I'm reading it, I'm going, no way, um, or or like like I want to read that differently. That's this is the important thing, is that I'm going, I'm like I'm reading the Terry Crews thing, and I'm going, no way, that's and if. And then realizing that, why is that story, like, is it more believable to me? It's le it's less believable narratively, which makes it for good storytelling. Oh, no way. Jack went up a beanstalk? Wow. No way. Terry Crews got, got sexually assaulted? It's a simultaneous expression of disbelief and... I'm I'm all over it and I'm so invested and I have no, I'm not I like yeah awesome like not awesome that it happened but like no way are you fucking kidding me when we express incredulity skepticism um and and I was like wait how is this different from like like I I don't know how I caught myself but imagining that any woman any woman 240 pound black muscle bound woman doesn't really matter like 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 I don't think I just picturing just Okay, change his gender. Just change Terry Crews to a woman. Uh, and I was like, I, I, I'm rattling with the realization that there was like a clear difference for me. That that when a woman, when I hear about a woman being um, like having this crazy shit happen to her, uh, it, it, I have some kind of like force field that. It just needs to. There's just a little checkpoint. It's just. It's no big deal. I just need to see your ID before you get on the plane. That's no big deal. Everyone can get on a plane. 
there's a fucking checkpoint there that I saw where I was like, I, I, it wasn't placed there consciously. I do not choose. I was not choosing. I never chose. I never knew. That's why I was shook to the fucking core because I was like, what the fuck is your problem? And you, then I you started, found it. You found it less believable. Or I was if, less... when, a, when a woman tells me a story. When a, in the past, when a woman has told me a story, whether it's not when she's coming to me as an employer and saying whatever, when it gets official and all that stuff, equally important conversation about what we do in the workplace and all that stuff. I'm talking about when a woman is confiding in you that some something insane happened to her at the hands of uh, a predator in the moment. Some of these, these seconds, Terry Cruz's story is three and a half seconds long, really. Six tweets, three and a half seconds, drunk boss in the middle of everyone, at the, I assume. I picture it on a dance floor. It really doesn't matter. It was part, it, but anyways, but like, like these stories, like I, in my head, I look back over my whole life and I, it's not, it's not as simple as I believe women less. It. I think the irony is that it has something to do with this chivalry. You're in charge. That's why they're telling you in the first place. Uh, you're. 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 You have to decide. When Terry Crews tells me a guy grabbed his nuts at a party, I don't have to decide what to do about it. I don't have to. I'm not in charge of whether it's true. So I just fucking believe it. And my immediate reaction is. Well, let's not work with that guy ever again. And 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 I look back through my life and I, I'm realizing that like women saying like, you know, that guy on the corner, not work related, like whatever, your neighbor or this per, this happened to me or that r waiter at that restaurant. Like, we were getting scrambled eggs and then he said this or that. I, and I have the same verbal outward reaction so no one can police it. I go, no way. But I when I read the Terry Crews thing, I was like, I saw like, I don't care if you call it a nanometer or a millimeter or a foot or 20 yards, mm -hmm. a difference. I have a different setting. I think it's because we're supposed to be cowboys. I th like, 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 like we're like, okay, now Stacy, now, to, now just, just give me one second to take that in. That's interesting that you're saying because that. if I go up to Arnold, the yeah. busboy at the grand buffet and punch him out, like th that's all the unspoken stuff is like, yeah, no one asked you to do anything except believe them. Yeah. And that but you're already in this like Fonzie mode of like, now right. hold on. Are you trying to use my Fonzie uh strength to you're not gonna do anything anyway. Yeah. But like your brain is like my brain has been wired. What happened? What nothing. Oh. All right. Well, anyways, but I think, I, I I think that's an interesting point that that, you know, that that when a guy says, Oh, this happened to me, you go, Oh, wow. And you don't feel responsible, but like if a woman says something to you, you part of, I mean, like, I've, I used to get I, mad. I go, like, ugh, now I, am I, you want me to beat this yeah. person up? Or you want, yeah. I'm but, supposed, but, are you sure? Because I got, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get interact with something. I don't, I'm not good. What, it, it just, it all becomes like, ooh, this hurts me. When There's a crisis somebody, happening. Somebody else is like, look, no. Just believe me and and comfort me and so, yeah, yeah it's and trace gross. it back to like Terry yeah. Crews. It's like it's like yeah, he's it's, not asking you yeah. to do anything. Yeah, it's that's a and then if you said that to point. women, then they would go, "I wasn't. I, I wanted you to believe yeah. me." Yeah, yeah, it's 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 and I, oh, uh, I, I, is this I, confrontation? I, well, I, you belief know? is something I do before I yeah. do nothing. That thank you. That is I look. I'm not if you're watching or listening I'm not I'm not preaching to you you're yeah. different than me I think that like I like I'm the, bummed out like now. we have to if you're listening to me like like start like nothing bad can happen to you I am not going to be taken up to an electric chair at a mountain tomorrow I am not going to be exposed in a Mel Gibsonian way I am, I am however confessing to you that like like something that is fundamental to all of this that like the the more innocent you are of any crime at all, the more important it is that you have this conversation with yourself, right? right you know, this week, uh, like like because I'm saying that, to, and I'm saying that to you in the same way I would say, cut out carbs or fucking like drink less or something like that. I had discovered like, like I I, I think this is the time and. 
It is not because I know better than you. It is because right. I like I, I'm I'm going like shit. You guys like 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 we 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 have the capacity to do things that we don't know we're doing and and we like we are going to benefit as brothers we're not going to be less masculine and we're not going to be less cool and we're not going to make less of a paycheck like there will be no real world um consequences even amongst each other if we if we push toward it being fashionable to um uh, not create a divider in, uh, between the conversations that we have with ourselves, each other, and and with women. And it, it, it's been nice, like this summer camp thing for me for a while. It's a, like there's a lake in between the boys' camp and the girls' camp, and it's very fun. The idea, like, and with that comes panty raids and which is like, like, awful. Like, <laughs> which is terrible. All of the shit from our '80s movies. Yeah. It's all awful. It's, all, it, and it's go, fun like, oh, for like, the guys, but it's like you've just broken into our place and started going through our personal items and taking them away from us and and we don't we can't do anything about it <laughs> but here's the logic circuit that gets triggered in you when we when we talk about this stuff because I know it gets triggered in me mm. it, it it's like oh what are you suggesting what are you proposing what are we supposed to do so I'm supposed to do this but if we do that but if everyone does this but what about that stop like it is not there is no invitation here and no command and no lecture it is a tag cloud it is tagging something and becoming more aware of it making it more organizable i myself dan harman with no expectation of anyone else and no prediction of of, of what will happen and with no um observation about how society works i am saying and i feel like from my pull of one here with my best friend that we're all in it right now like i am saying as one of you having that conversation in his head like 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 all we have to do first is um is is go back over our whole fucking life yeah. <laughs> and 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 no, it's, and you never have to put it in a journal. A, you don't have yeah. to issue a press release. You don't have to call anybody and say you're sorry. You do just, but you, you, there will be no. You, you can, you can welch on this after you agree to do it. Just open your panel if you're over thirty. Go back, go back to like ten or eight, and just kind of just or just. You don't, you don't have to do that. You're not combing a beach. You know that these fucking moments have charge to them. Mm. Your moments with women, your relationships, the moment of your conquest, the moment of your defeat, the moment of when you realize so-and-so was a bitch, the moment you realize um, that you didn't want this, but you prefer that, and you're kind of into that. Any, any moments that are charged with sexuality, just pop back over to them. They're, like, marked on your little sci-fi map. They're marked with fucking – they're marked – and go back to them and just and just and just relive them and 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 say oh oh man if i did that right now in front of me i would say to me okay hey here uh listen uh, that's not fair yeah or whatever you'd say like here's what here's what your current me shouldn't be saying you piece of sh you fucking jerk off you don't know the rules you piece of shit fuck you D don't you know fucking chicks like it this way now like that guy's not a hero like i'm saying your real self that's like oof oh fuck i didn't know i didn't know i was i didn't know i didn't know what i was doing and it's embarrassing no because rules. you look at it and you go how could i not know how could you not know that that was wrong it's just you know it's 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 very similar to what I went through with just stop eating meat you know the click in your head of yeah. even just forget what about, am I doing like I, not to gainsay you I, I, like like forget about the word wrong because uh, then it like creates this dichotomy well, of sure. like there's a perfect way to be I'm saying no, no. that that's like it's like what what with your meat eating you're not running around telling everybody not to eat meat but it's hard to, but I want to but but well but but. You live by example, and you express I, yourself, yeah, I, and you go like, "I didn't eat meat today." Whatever yeah, the fuck, you don't yeah. like run around and hit people on the head with a brick. I, I'm just saying, that, that, that not, that's not my point at all. I, I know you can I know, you Dan. can be evangelical about your not eating meat. It's you okay. Want. It's okay. It's um, fine. Uh, uh, like awareness. That's where I'm starting. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. I'm 44. I've spent a really long time 
uh, thinking about women as being uh, and 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 a, and a huge portion of that time has been my feminist uh, phase, mm-hmm. which just means that I've recognized that there's a different protocol. Like, but the entire time was like, there's a division. Sometimes it's a it's a wall over which I'm handing care packages. Sometimes it's a wall over, or, you know, back in my 20s, I'm lobbying like M80s over it and dead frogs to get a scream. Um, then then it's like I'm drilling a hole in it because I'm a hero. This wall should come down. I don't like there's a wall there. Like I, 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 I it, it has been there forever. Like and it, it, it's like I'm sorry about that. I feel remorse for that. And I'm like. I'm trying to like, uh, uh, fuck it, like, like, notice when I like, when I'm saying shit because it's the easy thing to say, mm-hmm. and when and when and when, when because it's the next thing that you should say, and when and when it's the next thing that you should say in order to keep your job or make yourself more comfortable or feel good or all this stuff, like it, it's. It's 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 time to just sort of start thinking ergonomically about that stuff. Yeah. And and and, and you guys that are twenty five, like okay, so Spencer and Levy are sitting here. Let's let's both twenty five. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. The, the thirty two is the new twenty five. Uh, the the how old are you guys? What are you? Tw- twenty eight. Twenty eight. All right. Now 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 tell us everything. <laughs> right. It turns out women are people. Yeah. See, no, I don't know. Uh, High roadie, smug, well, millennial. <laughs> well, that was a, that wasn't what you wanted. <laughs> it was a simple <laughs> subby up kind of. No, I wanted you to talk for forty minutes. When about it, like a, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, chart. I guess when I have these conversations with friends, it's always it always comes back to just socialization, and you know, through the through the decades, the American way was like women stay in the kitchen and they raise the kids. And They're pets. I mean, essentially, I guess. I mean, yeah. that's what it is. They're yeah. companion and then, people. Uh, yeah, and and then, but that's not how anybody in this room or anybody that we've talked to has ever. Th- say it's easy to go like the idea that women should stay in the kitchen. No, is no, no, false, no. Right? That's, no, that's no, that's no, yeah, our yeah, parents, yeah. right? No, but, but, my, oh, yeah. but like, Sorry. let's t- take my like conservative grandmother for instance. Like, mm. she's cool with like everyone getting work and whatever. But what's her name? Judy. 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 Judy Levy? No. Levy? Lebetsky. Lebetsky? I'm not calling her out. I mean, she was just, she grew up in a oh, time. Oh, sorry. You probably didn't want to well, mention whatever. her name. It's right. Fine. Uh, but she right. grew up in a time where, like, it, you know, there was a certain expectation. And, uh, you know, like, I, m- I think my grandfather said this weekend, like, women went to college just to get married. And she was like, that's not true. I, I got a really great education. It just so happens that was a, a place that m- most women met men and got married and then ultimately didn't pursue work but just the idea that like my grandfather uh, in his head is like yeah well women just that's the only reason they were going to college um i don't know it's just i kind of feel like those conversations i i like those are then then we're in this ditch of like unsolvability and all this stuff no i i think what you're saying i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not poo-pooing on what you're expressing i'm like i'm yes ending it and going yeah yeah, this is the thing that like distracts us is the is the conversations about um how society works like in a nuts and bolts way Uh, like how how far are you into a conversation about um being conscious of other people before it immediately gets like it's like two two sentences before you're talking about who opens the car door and who pays for the for dinner and and minimum wage and and, and oh. all this stuff which actually like ties everything in a giant knot and you can't no, no, move I, forward. No, but it, it's it's all about progress and I think that this particular type of conversation cha- it, it changes that conversation and and like you know this is such a trying time that I think that it's hurting certain areas and I think that you know hopefully this we move forward, and it's and and things well, start when, to get when, better. When things get uncomfortable, people avoid it, and they go, ah, la, 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 I don't want to hear it. It's fine the way it is. It's because nobody wants to be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong about everything. I'm wrong about yeah. everything. I've been wrong about everything my whole life. Oh God, oh God, you're wrong. Did you hear? Did you hear what he said? He said he was wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You got yeah. this wrong. You used the wrong word. You used the wrong thing. And like that's the other thing that we're like sick of hearing about how we forgot the Rust Belt, and that's why now we have a Nazi in the White House because apparently some fucking redneck somewhere got tired of being ignored. I everything we do is wrong. 
wrong. We go, we're wrong if we're, if we're being right too much. We're, we're, we're wrong. But, like, we're all, I, I, yeah, I, I, I just, like, fucking, like, I'm, I'm 44, and I'm, like, I'm wrong about everything. I'm always wrong. And it's, like, like isn't that a good, like, if you woke up and said, like, I'm wrong. I'm going to be wrong today. I, I'm still, I was wrong yesterday. I'm going to be wrong more today. And, and like, like, I, I, and I, 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 why is it that when a woman comes into uh, my wrongness and says maybe this and that's like I have an increased tendency to go like well I don't know about that but I'm just saying I'm wrong like like I I have fucking issues and I have like like shit that I need to like like grease and loosen and pull apart do you want to ask a woman ask a woman I don't want to ask a woman anything no I think that there's like you know the hippie counterculture introduced this concept where like no one that anyone says is true and anyone that anyone tells you is the establishment trying to force a new hegemony on you and that opened the door for basically saying that anything that's science anything that anyone has told you is fact is biased and is trying to sell you something which kind of opened up the door for what we understand to be hippie stuff, you know, yoga, meditation, crystals, uh, sex cults, like all this stuff kind of grew out of alternative, non-scientific ways of trying to understand the world. And it kind of gained steam and power and uh, became this countercultural thing. And that grew into like there's bodies of facts to support any position and there's a book on this and a book on ghosts and then it kind of gives the idea that completely non-scientific kind of non-intellectual things can have the auspices of intellectuality and kind of the responsible credibility of something that's real and that kind of created a world where people can feel comfortable just being right all the time and creating new systems that create ways that they're right and so everyone's kind of ensconced themselves in these silos of thinking that that have kind of just existed uh, concurrently and not ever butted into each other. And that the fe- well, because the feeling of being wrong means that uh, you can't charge for charge anyone money to be wrong. Right. You can charge somebody money to be right. Mm-hmm. And, and, and 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 I think you, it's American too. You 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 go like like it's like like, like uh, there's no reward for saying I don't know I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 might, in, I I think I, I, I got that wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I think in like the Middle East, people will get a lot more mad and get into arguments. And in other countries, people will be more comfortable with stuff like that. But I think specifically in America, we have this discomfort with with really butting up against people and having these outward political debates. I mean, until very recently, because it's kind of exploded. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what feels like. It's like there's always like, yeah. <sighs> Man, like, 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 it's my nightmare to be stupid and to be wrong and be talking out of my ass and all this stuff. Like, I want to go back and I want to start this podcast over again. I was a fucking babbling idiot. Like, you don't want to have listened to it. I, 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 I'll, I'll try better next week. But, like, if I, 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 like, I'm already wrong. I'm wrong. So then what do you do? Like, you, like, Why? And, and so my therapist is saying, yeah. like, it's time. Did I explain this? I, 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 I'm not making any sense, like, where it's like, I, here's how I perceive the world working when a human being, like, walks around it. Okay. So I'm going to walk. I'm going to hmm. see a, uh, all right. So say something to me. Hi there, sir. How you doing? Okay, so I just heard the words, hi there, sir, how you doing? There's a guy, he's on the sidewalk, so the, 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 that, that, those facts went into my, my head. And now I, I envision them as going down a pipe through my face, down my neck, and then at my chest level, above my solar plexus, but right, right at the top, right be- between my neck and right, like right between my nipples, there is a, uh, there is a, like a box. It's a square box. That all the information from my ears and eyes goes into, and it, 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 this is the first stop that it goes into, and it's like it, it's it's I don't I, I I'm scared to call it society or it's well, just like is there it's, Freudian terms. I think maybe it's 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 experience, mm, the super ego nurture. Maybe? Let's yeah, just yeah, call yeah. it nurture versus nature. But that's that that that's a that's distracting too. That was like but it's like. Too. It's a construct. Yeah, it's, it's, it's what you've it's acquired. Norms, norms. It's 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 socialization. It's stored processing uh, programming that you have assembled, because there probably is on some psychological level the equivalent of a metabolism, and it probably saves time to not have to think about a bunch of shit. Implicit bias. To not have to learn to tie your shoes right. every morning. To not have to wonder what a uh, wood is uh, and and realize that it used to be trees but and so you can continue making your deck you have to go 
I guess I'm making it now sound like amnesia. But anyways, it's the shit that you you've 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 accepted as fact. Right. Um and like we are so advanced now that that information if you're living in a city and someone comes up to you and says what Rob just said, "Hello." Uh it goes into a box and like of course there's a hello back. Like that's like the first thing in there. There's a, there's a million things based on whatever you're perceiving. Most importantly, it never I, th- I feel like I have arranged in my body that box is above another optional box which has to do with me like learning shit where i am like vulnerable where i am wondering what's going on the the baby the the guy that's like well i don't know so let's find out what the fuck is that what's going on what the the the, the and we, and we have like i i i am using my i statements uh like i have such a hard time getting to that person. Like, like the shoebox of, of fucking options up here is so like it, there's getting a, to the person that said, Hey, how are you doing today? Or, or whatever the happens getting to the it could be a headline. It could yeah. be a headline about uh, 78 people getting shot in a mass yeah. shooting. It could be a, um, so my friend saying, um, I've just turned vegan. I don't want to eat meat anymore. Yeah, it's, it's cruel. It could be someone saying, I'm Muslim. It could be someone saying, uh, your friend Glenn just sexually harassed me at the carnival last night, and you're still friends with him, and it hurts my feelings. It could be, um, did you watch Big Bang Theory? It could be, um, uh, here's how you install a backsplash for your sink. Any information that comes into you, like it, 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 everything, all of your experience, I'm just saying, I, 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 like, like, I, I think there are two boxes. I, I think that, I'm an unconscious person. Well, I think that that second box is like maybe like core values and beliefs and stuff that kind of form, I don't know, like our religiosity, our, uh, you know, uh, attitudes towards authority and like that really forms our core identity. But that is definitely part of knowing traffic laws and piracy laws and stuff. And it's like it is that stuff is important, but that stuff isn't who we truly are. So, like, I definitely think there are these two two kinds of things that we and and one of them is mostly unconscious i think we had that one neuroscientologist lady on and she was talking about implicit bias but i think that that like bias comes a lot from these these core values that just form our base identity and our kind of like world our like like perspective just when we are growing up you know our privilege and stuff like that's all just formed from these core truths that we understand that come from privilege because the core truths of like a white male are going to be way different than the core truths from like a black you know girl growing up in a in a neighborhood with you know police presence all the time so it just kind of it kind of but there it you can change them i think it's just a lot harder because they are these core values that we recognize are important to our sense of identity and i think we're in a world that like figuring out our identity and what side we're on and whether we're cool with that or whatever is becoming something that maybe media or culture is kind of hyper uh, hyperizing like kind of whipping into a froth weaponizing probably for marketing purposes but it's like becoming more of a thing where you have to pick a side whereas i don't think you you used to you just be able to like Oh, well, how about that? Did you hear about that? Wow. You know, and now it's like, I'm okay with that? I'm not going to be okay with that. Should I be okay with that? I think I'm okay with that unless someone has any reason why I shouldn't be. And I don't know. I think it just is like we're more primed to either accept or reject things. I think – but the thing thing that I think is real interesting about this conversation is like traditionally – you know, the older you get, the more you get set in your ways. And, you know, there's a hundred stand up references to like the the forwards that you get from your your uncle or, or, or your your parents saying all this racist stuff or what a class of stuff. And like, it's just because that's how they were raised and they're not learning. But what you're going through, Dan, and what what I'm going through and what it seems like the world our generation is going through is we're kind of looking to back and going, we were wrong. That, I know you don't want to say wrong, but that's the only way I can explain oh, no, it. No, but, well, but I was like, yeah. I look back and I go, yeah, there was a time where I was like, no, women are the enemy and they deserve it. And I'm going to be on the guy side because women judge me and say yes or no to me. And anybody in a position of power has got to be evil. So they deserve whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And I've thought that way most of my life because I'm the I'm the underdog I don't deserve this and why can't it be easier for me and that's 
my fault. And it's and it's shitty. And I and I yeah. Because how many ways did you fucking bother to second guess the system? Yeah. You know when they told you not to cut school, when they told you not to be as into Jackie Chan bootleg videos, yeah. when they told you Dungeons and Dragons wasn't cool, when they you yeah. know it's like we're so fucking like it's like you pick and choose which which area of being which a feels hero. right, and sometimes um, when it feels right, it's just avoiding the truth. But the other side of that is like is that as soon as I start saying that, I know because it's, it's like then you start going wait wait what are you saying like who do i you don't owe anybody anything you don't you don't no one's going to take your pants you know they're, they're not going to lose any trail mix there's not going to be any less teeth under your pillow tomorrow i i, I that's we're, we're we're i that's how we're used to processing things like someone's coming for my fucking shit so if you if you let that guy spit on you at recess tomorrow um you know he and you don't do something about it like he's going to spit on you twice as much as he spits on uh Toby Richards cuz Toby Richards you know what he did he fucking kicked him in the nuts he still got his ass kicked but he didn't get spit on anymore and like logic 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 slippery slope hierarchy logic 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 uh Dan when did your podcast stop being funny when your mama fucking slurped on my giant knob mm. uh mm. I, I I I I already warned you about this okay I just want to address that one more time voice in my head I'm just saying I understand I I I spent the weekend inadvertently going through YouTube clips of like when my podcast is really funny a lot of times Rob's on when that's happening mm, that's true um so I thought I'd invite him back tonight <laughs> uh, boy I'm really really doing that I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, all I can tell you is like, when, like, uh, like, uh, I'm being, I'm being we're, it's, uh, the funny, the funny is happening at, 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 at uh, when, it doesn't when, have to be funny when, when, when I'm, when I'm not losing my mind and we're not losing our mind when, when, when there's not shit going on. It's just like, you know, we just mark these occasions. You, you, you click on this one, you go, oh, that must've been when, uh, the Ros, Ros McGowan, Ros, 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 Ros was, uh, doing that thing on the, on the Twitter. Um, but anyways, I do want to remember when those aliens were found at Ros McGowan. I want to. I want. I, I can't. I want to say one thing about 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 Rose, uh, a, aka Joan of Arc, right now because there's this awesome thing happening, which, uh, it, it, the, like twi Twitter was used to get a a, a president elected that, in, in a way that really bummed us out because leading up to that, the accepted thing was that Twitter couldn't accomplish anything real yeah. Yeah. that was worth any change, and yeah. for it to get like hacked, whether you use that term like literally or not but like for it to be I, unfairly or not for it to be used as a real world tool to just affect real change for the bad guys was like really demoralizing yeah. especially for people like me who grew up on the internet we thought we created as a place to hide from really awful people yeah. asterisk per our other conversation we're finding out that that entire time we were also awful people because we fantasized about being Han Solo who's a piece of shit to all right the, the, but the, <laughs> the, the but the, then this is why even though it's like a kind of like nice bookend to this thing because now we're this is the this is the second time since the election of that parasite that what's happening on Twitter as soon as I mention it to my therapist she knows what I'm talking about and shit's happening there's a court of, of public opinion ha that got leveraged on Twitter that was used to create real world results that like heads rolled down the physical street with the potatoes. It wasn't like cancel Colbert. Nothing happens because, first of all, what are you doing? Second of all, blah, blah, blah. The, the world just continuing to like circulate while Twitter acts like there's something that can be done. Yeah. It was like this feels like exhilarating but the funny thing about it is that it feels exhilarating in a way that feels like the fire is outside my front porch is did 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 she get was her twitter account like is it like she, she got suspended because she but is it back i mean i i, I, I assume it, I, I assume it's back, back. Yeah. yeah yeah i haven't read i haven't read the anything. last thing i heard while the, uh, the, this is, uh, this is actually why i wanted to bring it up it's an anecdotal thing that made me want to just say one thing as long as i'm not being funny like to the extreme like there was a recent thing that just happened that I was hearing about, like the, while getting ready to take my girlfriend's dad to dinner, which was like, uh, um, she said something that it crossed a racial line, and she was trying to reach for an allegory to help, whatever. And then there was flash blowback, flashback, the the, the white back, black black, like black flashback of the of the click clack, like 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 it it exploded, it it got all fucked up. And and I and I like 
halfway through hearing about it, I just wanted to like, like, I was, I was like, are we like, isn't this what we've been doing for like 15 years? Like, like we keep on like, like c- cool shit starts happening. And then like the bad guys don't, they don't have this, they don't have this obstacle in their path where everything like, like where like we, we hold, we hold our, our, our people who are, who are helping us like, and making us have conversations. Like we hold them to the, to the standard of as if they're supposed to, like, like be some kind of like historical figure that gets everything right or and and, and then to the extent that any our standard for ignoring leaders um has become uh oh did we then find out they're not perfect meanwhile the bad guys they they're just beating us because they don't have that standard they don't care you can be a republican that does not believe at all in mexicans being rapists and just wants to gain financially and you can you can belong to a party where you go like, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't care that he said that. Who gives a shit? I want my money, and I'm going to get my money by pretending I don't give a shit what he says. And the good guys are like, fucking a, yes, down with the patriarchy. Like, let's do this one thing, and then, and then we we have that we, that hero worship thing. It's like, can't you just can't you can't you give a woman that's that 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 stands up for a second a fucking break? I, I like like we're they're not. It happened so quickly. It, too. It's always it's gonna happen. It's always gonna happen quickly. Yeah. It's it's like, like like there's always gonna be Tinder and fucking like not the app, the actual thing that we use to start fires. There's always <laughs> gonna be a. Th- there's always going to be. It's, she wasn't running for senator. Like, like, like we, uh, Emily Gordon like, uh, like retweeted a link to a thing, and I don't know who wrote it. I only know, so it was like, I, like it was like years ago. Um, and the the article's headline was "Admit it, your fave is problematic," which, and I was like, "What is that?" It's gibberish. I read the article. It was like saying, "If you keep holding your." Um, the people you admire to 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 a standard of political uh a, a minute to minute like um uh, uh perfection like th- then you're you're fucking them i mean it's it's the the fbi monitored martin luther king to make sure this is like they're like oh man the minute that guy gets a blow job then uh, like <laughs> then we don't have to care about black people anymore yeah. is that fair no. those that's what we're doing to each other now when we when we when we 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 just we we just have to like can we loosen the fucking um why am i why am i calling to action there's nothing that a biomass can do that's just a sad action, side effect of oppression too it's like that's what the system does is it pits the 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 small dogs against each other and and tells them that that's what they should be doing otherwise they don't have the moral authority to overthrow real oppressors <laughs> killing people and robbing families you know i mean i'm not saying that you're wrong to bring it up it's just like that is a that's a part of the system and it's fucked but uh, like but there's a double standard here too right if you if you were to draw a gender line only because one gender has privilege <laughs> i love that. i sound like a college student the uh, in 1992 that 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 um women uh uniting without doing it in a cigar smoke filled room um because why would it happen there how would it happen there uh if, if you're in a handmaid's tale where are you gonna meet except the produce aisle you you ain't got no fucking freemason lodge the the w- 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 uh, 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 unprivileged movements have the total disadvantage of being open source, right? And trolls and hecklers and people that just like peer in if it's a, if it's a movement worth its salt, if it's good honest people that are like, well, we don't have anything to hide, so we're not going to meet in a fucking catacomb and plot the destruction of something that should get me in the electric chair. I'm gonna like this is a movement that's going to catch fire among the people and it's like but we we live in this flame retardant universe it's so unfair you go like oh women are oh look the women are saying they're hashtagging this or that and then it's like oh well that that should put a pretty high premium on dividing them amongst each other and uh and that'll go to shit pretty quick and then we can start laughing i got like geez i wonder how come you guys don't have rights (laughs) yeah sure can't get along with each other meanwhile i'm not off to my men's meeting like i don't like men and I can say that and nothing will happen to me. Yeah. Men. Men are dumb. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, I, you know what? I don't like that kind of man that's like when he's that that that's like all about selling himself sexually. 
I think I think I think that person should be ashamed of himself. Like I'm not gonna suffer any fucking blowback for that. There's no there, that, among in some men's like, it, it, and it's because like we don't care. That's also not fair. So when if 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 someone awesome like Rose McGowan like <laughs> he keeps that like every like I say the word bagel like what how do you fucking <clears throat> McGowan, McGowan? <coughs> Rose McGowan Gowan. Uh, if she Where starts, are you going? <laughs> if the thing that's like catching fire is that she's fucking taking no guff, you know, like yeah, it's like, I, like 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 you see all the, the our old timers like are piping up and they're going like uh, it's it's funny because I think you go like oh I'm 20 years out from being that yeah. tone deaf and you go like <clears throat> but but I Oliver don't... Stone here. Yeah? Um, <sighs> now listen, ladies, um, if something should offend our, your our, sensibilities, our... simply give it time. There's a due process for this. Uh, uh, Woody uh, Allen God's chose to, <laughs> to, to to chime in. He goes, uh, "This is this is probably the best time. It would, People it, want to hear what I think. It would be it would be a shame. Yes, if it, and it's like, <laughs> like, but, that, you would think he would know the room better than anybody. But he like what." If somebody like said, "Hey, uh, Mr. Allen, uh, looks like you're enjoying your coffee. What do you think about all this crazy stuff?" Uh, no comment. Leave me alone. I'm old okay. and d- it's it's done. That's the other thing. Th- that's the difference with the Woody Allen thing. Is I feel like I that's that is totally possible that somebody literally like like just said that much and that he and that, that like his quote the the one that I heard, which was like, "I hope it doesn't turn into a witch hunt." If you plaster it on yeah. the on Times Square in a scroll, and it feels like he issued a press release, well, he should have been like, sp- like, like Alan Greenspan, yeah. hoping we don't yeah. overinvest. Yeah. Um, it, like, 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 or is it? It could also be him getting into a cab and going, "I don't want. I, I, I hope it doesn't." <laughs> Right. That could be an almost honest thing for him to say. Uh, well, the uh, last thing I need is for that to ca- uh, yeah, become a trend again. Oh boy! Uh, hey, I don't know. It, it, this is the thing: is you don't you don't know the context. All I know is that he it didn't sound like something he was saying on the way to the car. Like I don't want right. it. Di- it didn't sound like I don't really want to talk about this. I know you want to comment from me. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, he could have easily said. It's awful. I wish it didn't happen. And then go away. Uh, yeah, but well, but 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 he 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 opened his mouth and put both of his feet in and mm-hmm. uh, it just was like you read it and you go, what did you think was you are whether you think you did it or didn't do what you did, you know what people the public probably thinks about you right now. So, but. But, 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 but uh, yeah. I we don't, yeah. I, I, I don't know. just to I don't click know. on that and know what the context was here. Yeah, the, yeah. The, this is all circling back to like what, and and then so R- Rose, let's just get on a first name basis with her so I stop saying her last name. Um, well, she's like, fuck it, whatever. Like, like, really, every fucking tweet has to be on fucking point, and 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 I, I like. If, 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 we're gonna win that game if we play the game of does everybody have to say everything right? And that's exact. I know how confusing that can be for people because we're talking about like fucking like don't take this shit anymore. Don't take anybody's mm-hmm. bit. They're gonna cloak it in language. They're gonna say they're gonna say that's the way things work and all this stuff. And like so, yeah. You know what? I'm hearing myself say it out loud now. I'm like pirouetting back to like what the fuck am I? Why is this my impulse to explain? Let me let me take another run at that and do it the way that's healthy. Mm. When I heard that Rose McGowan nice! was catching shit mm. um, because she made did or didn't like put her toe over a foul line on the, on whatever bowling lane you perceive, like it it bummed me out because I it makes me feel like we will never gain traction organically, that we will create a world in which the only way to um, uh, change things and, 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 and accumulate power is to do so artificially and therefore uh, reduce the risk of infraction along the way. But, I, but do, you think, do you think with 
with with something like when when Rose starts saying something and yes she's abrasive but she's angry and she wants to be listened to so of course she's going to be passionate about the stuff that happened to her and and so whatever and then Twitter locks her down I mean doesn't that seem like that's a fear based thing like no we gotta it's like if somebody if a prisoner's running for the wall you know right. you, every Every guard is going to start shooting at it because we can't let that one prisoner get over the fence. Yeah, yeah. But if ever, but all these other prisoners, if they're just like, they're not going to be. They're just if you just stay inside the prison and don't run for right, the right, wall. Right. Oh, gosh. so so, so yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, I I think I know what okay. you're saying. Okay, which is, yeah. Which is yeah, yeah. The but way I'm saying I'm saying like is is, is like because we're pushing the stuff down, or I don't know. I guess when I say we, when. When the world is like pushing this stuff down, it's like, no, we don't want to change. We don't want to be told we're wrong. You're wrong. And I, and I yes. So, do do I think yeah. that it is harder for revolutionaries to say anything that affects people? Yes. Like it's, it's, it's like so parabolically stacked against people. And so then do I? But that's like, that. But it's but it's a sign of like the status quo is afraid. Yeah. Of this happening. And that that. That's Which is good why, because kind of change is, 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 the, is happening. The oil that drives the engine yeah. of change is the blood of yeah. martyrs. But, I'm because... sa- but what, just to go back to my point that I was making before is like the generation, our parents, have never been more, at least from my point of view, have never been more doubled down and and dug into. No, no, no. Yeah, he didn't do anything worse than Clinton. Right. And I love our president and he's into Jesus Christ and and uh and I just ignore all these horrible things that he does because he's better than Hillary, the murderer Hillary, who Pizzagate Hillary. She's better than that. Um and we're all going to be rich someday just like him. Uh and he's <laughs> one of us. Uh so I'm going to ignore all that. But like you and I like right now, like at our age, uh, I mean, we're we're going through like changes. We're becoming that. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying that we're better than anybody, but I think um, the one good thing about uh, like the social media stuff for me, just in terms of like what's happening now and my, my how I feel about like eating meat and 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 not and and animal rights and things like that and just people rights and and just being good and it it i think that that's the one thing that i think is good is that like at our age when we should be digging in and saying no i wasn't wrong we're we're still changing and evolving so i i'm trying to put a positive right, spin right, right. on this no that's a good yeah that's 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 better than nothing i also though yeah i i want but yeah it I makes mean, you feel more helpless because how do you change the world but i also want to acknowledge that like your 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 parents and my parents like 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 when I was I was I was had an image in my head when you were talking about that and talking about like when we talk to our parents and like uh, how they talk about like well you know when you when you get a sense of where they're at politically which my, my mom's fucking well she probably wouldn't want me to expose her but she is uh, my mom's on fucking point my mom's more, my mom is like uh, like crazy like like she's like she's 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 down to clown on the on the left but I think she's kind of like. I don't want to. I don't want to dox her, politically. I don't. I don't. I don't know what's going on in her house. I don't know if her and my dad are fighting or what's going on. I don't want to. I don't want to. I've, I've. I've ruined my family with my mouth. I don't. I want to let them have their lives. But, but talking about our parents is important because you. 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 I picture like these like, um, like uh, these, like brick bracks. Like, like I picture your mom talking about politics and your dad is like. They, they, and, they're, and they're like in this like midwestern house and there's like little porcelain birds and there's these things that you grew up around yeah. where like who buys a porcelain bird and and the answer is someone who's got their shit together but the whole time now now that you and I are their age when they were talking to us I, I'll, I'll speak for myself and say like I, now I have a house and even though it doesn't have little porcelain birds in it there's some equivalent of it that's like a connection that I have to like Oh, this could all go away. Yeah. And I think that it's hard for us to understand when we think about our parents in the Midwest and their little tract houses with their porcelain birds and their and their Cuisinarts and their and everything's working great. And then when they talk about it needs to be like this or it doesn't need to be like that, like part of part of how it's easy to clown them is because it, it seems so clear looking at them that they 
have nothing to worry about. Yeah. And, and then it's, it's yeah. like, well, what what kind of what what kind of build uh, a wall? Huey P. Newton like world do you live in? Build that wall so those Mexicans don't get into Wisconsin. Yeah, and, like, what? and, and then, so that what? don't affect your plans to watch CSI Miami tomorrow yeah. night or whatever. Like we laugh at them because we go. Yeah, but you're not in the real world because yeah. we're young city kids. Yeah. But we're young city kids who are now turning 45, and we're I, – I own my own home. And for me, I'm like – like I now I have conversations with Duncan Trussell. He comes back from Burning Man, and he starts laying into me with the – like man, you gotta just let it go, baby. And and I, and I'm like, I do like you? like five years ago, I'd be like, yeah, you gotta let it go. Let's do. Do you want to do acid next Wednesday, or do you want to like let's talk like Obama's president? So let's talk about how property's theft, and I'll fucking I'll I'll blow your mind more than you could blow mine. But now for real, like it's like oh, I I I have a job and I have a five bedroom house, and he comes on. He, I go on his podcast and he's like, "Yeah, but why don't you just let some people hang out here, man?" Like, and and, and I'm like, ha, ha, "Yeah, I totally should." But seriously, I can't do that. Yeah, I I, and I had a whole conversation yeah. with him where I was like, "That's I'm my parents." Because you're worried. I just because Somebody's I don't have a porcelain. Take, everybody's. Wor- I mean, like they're worried. People are worried about being taken advantage of. You know, like just being. You I know, just got you know. here. It's like the Judge Reinhold Fast Times Regiment High thing. The that's yeah. the, that's the thing. Like whenever anybody calls you privileged or it's a it's a the yeah. the, the, the scene in Fast Times when I'm the hanging on by a thread. Guidance counselor does this monologue to Judge Reinhold, who's still dressed in his fucking pirate uh, fast mm-hmm. food outfit. She says, "Sorry, but it's time to enroll in a college. Like like I don't know where you've been, but the the party's over." And he's like. You've just watched him the whole movie, like, just deliver fast food. And he's like, I don't know. He does some mini monologue back that's like, fuck you. The, when did the party start or whatever? That is how somebody that you wouldn't believe, you're like, you with your porcelain birds? Why are you talking about liberty? Why are you talking about anything? Yeah. Why are you in this conversation? Why aren't you just patriotic about porcelain birds? Like, they're yeah. cheap. You get them at Home Depot. You you. you you already own them. You're not buying anything. You're watching a fucking television with America playing across it. You're almost dead. You saved for your medical bills. Now they're going to shoot them into you. Blah, 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 blah. Like we look at, I look at older people and I judge them. Like, yeah. like, like, why are they, why do they have so much control over what's going on? I, I get the feeling lately, like 25 year olds <laughs> see me that way, that mm-hmm. they, that they think, that they're looking at what I have as more permanent than I am looking yeah. at it. Yeah. I feel like I am five minutes from, um, depending on which way the wind blows, one committee or another dressed in one color jumpsuit or another coming up to my door and saying, like, you didn't earn this house. You don't, you don't get to have this. This is, we're changing the name of this state where you, yeah. you, 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 you we we just found your name on a on a Google list that uh like oh, we didn't know you were into feet like that's 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 a sign of uh of ISIS now what I whether whether it was right wing left right. wing West wing or or young Sheldon I I, I whatever hit show uh it, it I I I live constantly going like they're gonna come get me. Yeah, I, I think uh, I feel that way. I think. And so, what I, if our parents feel that way? I'm sure they do feel that so way. Now, I mean, that, that's because that's you know every uh, email from my relatives for is like, look at what, look at what the look what, when Obama was president. You know, look what they're look what these people are doing. You know, we're gonna have to work hard and we're gonna have to pay for some lazy, poor person uh, their medical bills. Why should we do that? You know, like. What is, and it's they're worried that they're going to be taken advantage of i you know or their stuff being taken away their their birds are going to be taken right. away nobody wants your fucking birds it's just it's crazy because my parents and my family are so religious they go to church like three times a week and it's one book you know what? Haven't you read it already? What else are you going to find out new about <laughs> the Bible? You know, somebody. Go, oh, they just found some new discoveries. Found a couple new pages here. It, it, it looks is, like it uh, carrots uh, are uh, are not as holy as we thought they that were. That is fucking insane. I mean, it's one world, now that we know, book. there are people who have done a podcast where like two hundred episodes of a podcast where their gimmick was they're going to watch Grown Ups two right. every 
<laughs> like, yeah. like, we've demystified the idea of uh, or going through Star Wars one right. minute at a time, the entire like trilogy and and uh, all of the trilogies, and there's people still going to church every pretending week, pretending like going, it's just mm-hmm, such a big mm-hmm. book and it's so complicated. Yeah. Like I wonder what so, part we'll talk about this do time. Want to, do oh want, yeah, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Is it, there's like that do is it, to others, there's, right? This right? Do I, I, to, yeah. I, I was not, I've spent the last yeah. ten years like oh don't my colleagues all are so, yeah. like I I'll, I'll I I'm Joseph Campbell so I'll stick up for Christianity but like. I'm saying, yeah, the American like Midwestern church yeah. like oh, culture it's... where it's like there is it this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. We're pretending that we haven't had the chance to look through that yeah. book from cover to cover. Yeah. I mean, come on, some parts are boring. It's uh, the Old Testament does a lot of begats. Like I've tried going through this thing. Yeah. It's okay to say it's a boring book. It's also okay that you to don't say you haven't read anything. the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, but like, it's I don't crazy have any that they, they, it's a book <laughs> that you haven't read that has huge boring parts that you could read and like not right. understand, and then right. and then you go to a building and the guy says, "Today we're going to talk about what sh- this page thing that doesn't this doesn't make any <laughs> sense at all if you just read the words. <laughs> if you read the words, it's beget and thou and blah 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 blah. Nobody talks like that. Uh, nobody, you know." No one uh, lives to be 500. And the cool ones are the ones that go like, so here's what Jesus is saying, just because it doesn't make any sense when I read it. It's like a, <laughs> an English teacher taking you through Macbeth. Right. Going, Macbeth is saying, hey, be cool. You know? like, And then we're all like, oh, wow, yeah. thanks for teaching You us. do that for four years. <laughs> you do that for four years in, in high school, and then you're done with it. And then maybe you'll see the movie. <laughs> But these people go every fucking week. And really, like, should they say, like, okay, listen, don't be a dick to each other. Class dismiss. Yeah, okay, we're going to take the rest yeah, of the okay. summer off. Don't be an asshole to each other. Well, in my dad, yeah, here's, here's, the, here's the threat. And that's why, like, yeah, I, we saw Jesus Christ Superstar, like, like, when we were, like, in our 20s. And, like, I, I got really into it. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, man. This is a great musical. Like, I love these songs. Yeah. And then because the songs sounded so good, I like I started watching more Discovery Channel shows about Jesus mm. and reading the stuff that Campbell said about Jesus. And like, I still haven't really gotten cover to cover through the New Testament, but I feel like I know Jesus a little bit better than a lot yeah. of people that get paid a lot of money to say yeah. they know Jesus. Yeah. And that's the reason why, I think, because it's not a complicated myth. No, I, I, it, it's it's very nuanced. and There's a lot of room for exploration and constant talk about it. Right. But it is pretty much diehard, except uh, instead <laughs> of being afraid to fly, he's uh, sort of afraid to uh, be, die. Right. Um. And the Nakatomi Plaza is uh, is uh, the Sermon on the Mount. Sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the Bible or Robocop is more. Of a... <laughs> Wait, didn't you go through a biblical? Weren't you raised? No, I know the Bible. Yeah. yeah. No, I I was what Rob was saying really clicked. I think for the same reason as you is because I I do encounter a lot of Christians and it's like, wait, don't I know more about the Bible than you? And shouldn't I not know more about because the Bible there's than you? a block. The yeah, because they're not it's actually st- studying it. They're, they're not they're just studying sitting. it. They're they're told if you go to church right. every every Sunday. And keep saying, I believe in Jesus, I believe in Jesus. When you die, you get to have ice cream forever. And your favorite television show will play on a loop. And you'll see all of your old pets and your family. And you'll be able to hang out with Lincoln in heaven and stuff like that. But keep in mind, there's a Muslim version of all this stuff that you'll be laughing at when someone tells you they read on a bubblegum wrapper that that's what they believe. Right, right. Uh, and that's why the, the but yeah. the minute the minute you know the the minute you you say like, uh, well why don't you why don't you help the poor I mean because uh, I mean isn't didn't God or Jesus say do unto others as you would do unto yourself wouldn't you help wouldn't you you're giving ten percent of your paycheck to the church why isn't the church full of homeless people during the other six days it's not being used why why it doesn't pay taxes why can't you why is really can't you give some of this money so we can all have affordable because everybody gets sick everybody dies nobody wants to have their loved one what is it shouldn't you be going yes take 
that all the of our money. The least popular thing Jesus ever said was, sell all your stuff and follow me yeah. and give it to <laughs> yeah. the poor. No, yeah. no one t- likes talking about no, that. No, 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 because well, they also, don't want to give up their fucking birds. Right, neither did the rich man. He right. went away sad, it He said. went away sad because, ah, that, I mean, I, I, I did I all, can't do it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not killing anybody, and uh, also I don't because I don't know. You know, I said, wouldn't it be nice to have a third testament where it's a, or, or, or like a, or like <laughs> a 2.5 do. where it's like, instead of this, ju- it's, a, it's, a, it's like, hey, uh, I got an because I, I, I've stood in a microphone and said, hey, I think capitalism might be the root of a lot of our problems that we're having. Like the idea that everything has a price seems to keep trickling sideways over into these stories we scratch our heads about where the cost of a bullet is less than the cost of killing a black child. Yeah. Like, like hasn't capitalism at its heart doesn't this, it, what ends up getting us here? And then, you know, like, like, like the, the Reddit the next day, like, well, if you hate capitalism so much, wh- wouldn't we know that you meant that by you giving your house away and eating your own foot? I, I don't. I what I would like is for a guy to come up to Jesus in the New Testament and say, "Hey, listen, yes, uh, must be nice, <laughs> mm-hmm. son of God." Hey, I never said I was the son of God. Yeah, I heard that's your shtick. Yeah, I'm not. You I do know, keep you, saying yeah. that you're. You do keep uh, saying that's you, what you said. I never said that. I never said that. But you <laughs> are living a very rarefied life right now. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> but you know, uh, I just do. What I do, man. Okay, so... The, I do what I do. That's yeah, what my know, T-shirt and the, says. And the whole New Testament, this is why it's an inspiring yeah. story, is because it's like, what if you woke up the next day and you just fucking did that? What if you just yeah. calls it like you sees it, walk around, and the answer is, according to that book, some people will come up to you and say, but I'm a police officer. What would you want me to do? And you would say, hey, man, what's police? What's an officer? And he would, like, drop his spear and, like, and like freak yeah. out. And I'm not making fun of it. Like, I... I, I if that's not the th- thing that's going to change shit, what is, by the way? Encountering some dude who fucking blows your mind and, and, and makes there's, you... You know, why can't the answer be, I don't know. I have, I've worked my whole life. I've been told my whole uh-huh. life. So uh-huh. so you're yeah. saying like from, the, would, from okay. the new Christ. Yeah. Why can't the answer be, hey man, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't I'm know. Just, I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. And Look. the answer is because it would be a decentralized, right. non-hierarchical, like modern compliant myth about all of you instead of a protagonist in the story who's some dude that we're supposed to like be like. Yeah. And if we're not like him, then we fucked up. Like uh, it, that it's just a story as it was originally intended, I would believe, about – what if you, what if you just, what if if you give a mouse a cookie, that's the millennials that, you know, all right, no, let's not get off on that. <laughs> it's like, like this idea, like, like, you know what happens if you wake up one day and you start causing it like you seize it? You only live to about 33 and then they nail you to a piece of wood. That's like, that, that, that but you get to meet, you get to meet David Bowie. Uh, like, like you, you, you. You, I, it beats prostate cancer. I don't know what to tell you, Mac. Right. Like, like, how, who else was crucified on Golgotha? Like, what? Who are these other people? Did they snatch purses? Were they also God? Kim? Did they? Did they threaten uh, the fate of Judea? <laughs> I don't know what I what like like what I'm saying to you is yes, it's true. It's very true. If you were to start searching your conscience before you reacted yeah. to anything ever, it's true. Your path could be absolutely uncontrollably short. You right. could end up out of work on Wednesday and under a bridge on Thursday and uh, not in an inter- uh, intervention right. episode. And you could just like be a pile of bones in a sewer next to Tim Curry dressed as a clown floating uh, and, and, and not but not even acknowledged in the final tally of who floats. Oh, OK. Well, like when Tim Curry would say they all float, he might exclude you <laughs> to just to add. I just want to make sure this is a nightmare scenario. Mm-hmm. I don't even want your bones in Tim Curry's float catalog. <laughs> right. When he says they all f- you'll float, too. He's not talking about you. You'll just be you'll you'll be bones you didn't even know. Well, well, what That's if he's just cool. starting out? <laughs> you know, I mean, he says yeah, you'll float, you'll float too. too. Oh, sorry, Timmy. You know what? I said earlier you'd float too. I meant the royal you. Yeah, yeah. The second person. We're hoping to get some others. I got a couple of other kids. It's like when Uncle Sam says he yeah. wants you. He doesn't want you, Timmy. Yeah, you, you might be. You might have flat feet. I just started out here. Whether I, you float to, or not depends yeah. largely on your methane content. Right. Your fear. Right. Whatever you were afraid of. If you're afraid of floating. Listen, it's raining. I'm getting pretty wet down here. Are you Come in? Come on down. Out? You'll float. Are you You'll float, float too. I mean that figuratively. Yeah. It's not a litigatable <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. phrase. 
You'll float too. Yeah. In or out. I I just I copy writ <laughs> wrote the 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 slogan. I mean, what the second kid it'll make sense. But you can you just uh uh Patrick listener here. Couldn't you have started like this and given me 90 minutes of this? You have in the past. It's very funny this riffing about it. If I wanted to listen to thoughts about your political your rambling rants about uh women I could have listened to, uh, I don't, um, yes, Paul, you, you were going to listen, you were, are you okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paul, what's the matter? Mm-hmm. You said you, you stopped right there. You said you were going <laughs> to listen to somebody and now you're, are you giggling or are you, what are you doing? You will all join me. You will all join me. No, I didn't say that was a dumb direction to take that. Oh, Sorry. Paul. You were doing a yes, bit. yeah, no, uh, the other podcast. I don't know. I wanted to throw. I don't want to. Uh, I, I could listen to another podcast. Right, you could, and yet you're here. But I paid. <laughs> you right. I'm a I'm a streaming subscriber. Right. And you're here. Well, I expect better next week. Well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, what? Well, what? You're gonna get what you're gonna get, yeah. because it's it. It's, it, it's, this is what you signed up for. So you expect me to give you $5 a month in exchange for no. just whatever happens? Uh, that's what you signed up for, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Have you guys noticed how nice Spencer's shorts are? Look at those shorts. Oh, mm. Are those from so Bombfell? Much. I don't know. They look like they could be. Bombfell has d- high-quality clothes delivered directly to your Are you shitting choice. me? Is that a segue? No, it's Did not. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I was like, wow, that was smooth. <laughs> Okay. Hey, All right. I'm your dick. I just wanted to do that. It's uh, 943, so if we were going to play D&D, we have the out that Jeff's not here, so we don't have to play D&D, and we can just wrap do you wanna, up. Do you want Kate to play D&D, my wife? This is, is a loaded question after talking r- what how we should respect women for 90 minutes. She's really good at magic cards. Oh, we don't she's even have really it. good at magic. I mean, I was talking to Callie last night. It's, I, she hasn't been playing that long, if I understand, but... Really, she's really been kicking good. your ass, is what I've she's, been hearing. She's, I'd say, I mean, Zach, I know you were, you were, you were saying the other week. I want to play magic with, with your, your wife. wife, yeah. And then <laughs> the next weekend, Kate is like going, "I'm going to play magic with with Spencer," and I was like, "Well, he won." I'm not. Yeah. He won. <laughs> it's the just, ultimate magic move. It's. Yeah. I don't play against a lot of good players. I mean, like, why is Kate? The best. Magic I don't know. Play. It's weird. Usually, when you teach someone to play magic, they follow a very slow progression. It's right. like, and it's it's very frustrating to play with new magic players, right? Because they they don't seem to catch on very quick. But she might like Zach is the other guy who's good, and then Ryan we play with. He's probably Ryan's probably the best, but I think she might be better than Zach, which is saying something because presumably Zach taught her to play. It's hard to yeah. surpass uh, a teacher that Unless quick. Unless you're I'd Darth say. Vader, which Kate is. Right. Yeah. But here's the thing. I think Kate has this almost magical ability to find stuff. And I think it's because there's cards and it's... You mean like supernatural? Like she's better at finding like keys and things? Well, yeah. And you're, Absolutely. And, and assuming no, no, no. that that's supernatural, like, no, no, no. you're saying like that would come, uh, come I'll go... Another. This happens like five times a day. Fuck. I gotta let the dog out, or I'm gonna be late for my meeting. I can't find my keys. I have to find my keys. Do you want me to help you find your keys? No, I can find my own keys, Kate. I can find my own keys. Where the fuck are my keys? Where the fuck are my keys? Where are my keys? Do you want me? To... Yeah, they're right here. She always she can find anything. She's got excellent finding skills. I inter- when I was married to McGathy, so she's the source of this, or someone else's, but she sold. She... I didn't seashells. I didn't decide that this was a thing. Thanks, because this is like declarations <laughs> of. But I had heard a thing that I didn't directly read about women uh, being better scanners, right? Visually, that uh, that that. But who, that could have come from the pages of Hustler. I don't know. Well, my uh, mom said I, there's male pattern blindness, and that's why guys can never find things, and women can find them. Something about like like the idea was I'm not pushing this forth and saying I believe it. I'm saying I found this in the bamboo forest of my mind because someone put it there 
it was a thing that came up at some point the idea that women because i've experienced the same thing yeah but with more than one like i like i'm like where and then they get involved yeah. and then it's she found, and, found and then immediately very quickly yeah. and it's embarrassing because it's like on a shoe and you're like but that's a shoe and the, the, the keys yeah the idea was that this is so counter but, but to everything also, that we talked but, about but, 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 that, but, that women can like take a a, a I, robocop like snapshot yeah. in a second and they see everything at once i bet that's got to be because that just feeds into the idea that they're like mercurial I, I, and intuitive. I, Kate's the only woman that I've ever met that could do it to this degree, and and I think she's also. It doesn't surprise me that she's good at magic cards. Uh, so and and also she plays to win. Right. She plays to win. It, uh, well, I don't like games because it's not. I don't like competition. I don't think it's it's fun. Yeah, I don't like competition. I don't play that much. to win. I don't like losing. I see. I don't I mind losing. losing. I don't have it in me to go. I have to win. Right. Because I go, eh. If I lose, fuck it. It's it's how fun is this anyway? But Kate is more. No, I'm winning. Well, I like trying to. I like trying to win, but I don't. But I feel bad when, if I'm playing a game like. Like like where I feel like the other I can't win, because I actually feel bad for the other person. I'm like like Cody taught me Connect Four, and I was like, you can't win. I can't win Connect Four. It's a, and, and but 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 uh, but I also uh, I, I I've won a couple times. That's a bad example. Like because it, it keeps me just going. Like I'm gonna fucking win. That's mm. what I like. I think it's funny and fun to be like. I want to win. This is the most important thing in the world, but only if it means that you might kind of maybe. If I you can like believe, you have to believe in it because there's some. There's most games I'm so bad at that I can't really. It's like who are we kidding? I'm not gonna win. Right. I feel like you'd be a Scrabble master. No, that's what a lot of people think. That's, that's why it's... your Pictionary. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Are you, you're Finally, amazing, you're amazing at Pictionary. No, no, Shrabby no. Likes Pictionary I fucking he's... hate Pictionary. <laughs> And I fucking I hate Pictionary. Don't ask me to play Pictionary because whenever I... somebody goes, let's play Pictionary, people go, well, Rob's on our team. And I was like, motherfucker, I didn't even say I was going to play. You didn't even ask. <laughs> You're not even looking at me. Rob's on my team. Rob's on my team. Go fuck yourself. I'm going home. Fuck off. Fuck off! Seriously, <laughs> wait, go fuck wait. yourself. But this is like a twenty-year-old. The last time I talked about something you used to say all the time, you were like, "How long ago was that?" Excuse me, is that impression? No, yeah, that was good. I knew what you meant. How long ago? So yeah, I mean, like, but you're not thinking about it. You don't really oh, right. hate Pictionary about now. Writing utensils. You're you're eighty-three years old now. Do you still hate Pictionary? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I hate I, Pictionary because because it's because the time limit. You know, and and people are shouting at you and stuff. I want to, if I'm going to draw something, I want it to be good and on my terms. And I don't want somebody to go, <laughs> eh, time's up. What is that? <laughs> well, there's a cross hatching because there's just shadows here and like that. But I don't even know. Couldn't you make it simpler? I mean, it's, it's, can you dumb it down? Because. It's. It doesn't have to be good. I just need to know what it is. Why did you take so much time on the stem? Just draw. A, uh, just draw an app. I just don't understand. It's just everybody gets all critical of you when I could out fucking draw anybody in this room. Can't those both be true? Because no! I think no one would agree that that's like an amazing <laughs> apple you're drawing. But at the same time, in the terms of the constraints of the game, it probably is conducive to draw like a simpler apple, right? Yes, that's why I hate Pictionary. Right, because it doesn't don't... value what you value about drawing. Right. Right, okay. And so there should be a game that I could play that you don't like. <laughs> All right, well... I want well, we, we, I, I want to uh, play the I want I want to play I gotta have to go out of airplane mode to do this but I really want to play the Are uh, you gonna turn into an airplane? No, no. I wanted to play the Dick and Morty trailer. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. I don't. But you know what? I should have. I, I didn't. I heard that his name is Rick in the. Thing, Wait a minute. Though. No, Wait, it's just the so title. Is it two dudes? No, it's like an alien chick. Well, I don't. That's uh, already like. Well, there's no indication. Well, how would you do a Rick and what? Uh, two gay dudes. 
Yeah. Dick and Morty. <laughs> no, but there's Mor- a dick inside Morty. With, it's uh, dick a- and, not dick in Morty. But Morty's pretty defined by okay. his uh, illegality. What? Age, age wise, Morty is pretty defined. It'd be like if you did a Simpsons porn. Are you gonna have Marge, uh, uh, Bart, and Lisa in it? Oh or yeah. Not? Well, I've seen that. <laughs> You've seen a porn with Bart and Lisa in it. Oh yeah. And it's depicting Bart and Lisa like fucking. They're aged up. Yeah, Usually, characters get aged up. Oh okay. I didn't yeah, know about that because that it's live just some action shitty porn animated. Actor. Yeah. Right. Well, oh, no, no, you're you're talking about like Rule Thirty Four, like no, seen... I'm talking about Pornhub c- c- cartoons. Oh, cartoon, yeah, cartoons. What? though? We're, We're talking so... about The Simpsons. What did you think I meant? Pantomime? People painted Mama yellow, Shunt? saying, "Oh, Bart, I want to fuck Bart." Oh, don't have a anal cow. This oh. is what I was getting that, at. Like, like, like that. <laughs> I'm talking what? about a live action porno. That's like that's not if you are I... if you do want a Bart Simpson porn, you don't want to see people painted in yellow body paint. Like no. that's that's the well, opposite of what the fans see want. This. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. It's like they're not. Take old they, Rick. It's not. Uh, it's not like cartoon Rick fucking uh, cartoon uh, Morty. It's like weird porn actors painted up green and such. Green. Yeah. I fucking hate. You gotta get. A you gotta phone. really hit it. No, it's not a new phone. It's a new society. That... Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna bring this up. Okay. Is that because I, I can't find this anywhere? The, if you're watching porn on an iPad, there's these new redirect ads. They always are trying to take your browser all over the place. You can't watch porn anymore. I can't find anything about it online. Is no one else like butting up against this, or is no one talking about oh, it? Is this man. only happening to me? No, I well, I don't. I have a Pornhub premium. Account. Well, yeah. So if you're only on Pornhub, is like one of the, it never does it. But I, but you primarily use your iPad for porn. Well, yeah, I think most people primarily that when I worked at Apple, that was like one of the gross. Things. It's not you don't want to talk about it, but <laughs> most Apple, of the time Apple, you're looking at porn? no, no. <laughs> at Apple, it turns out that everyone uses their iPad for like that's one of the main reasons people buy iPads for porn viewing. <laughs> yeah, to watch porn. That's a weird choice because yep. it's not yeah. actually that much of a. But it doesn't stand up on its own. No, yeah. it sure doesn't. I I, I will say if, like like if you're if you're just looking at photos, if you the ten point five inch iPad Pro, you could rub the corner on your nipple when oh, you look okay. at a photo. Too but, much details. Yeah. Okay. Too right, much. Sorry. Too much details. But I, I I just wanted to find this video. I just wanted to play the audio of the. I'm um, sure somebody's already posted it. I know, of course they have. It's the internet. I'm just saying. Like, I wanted to. I it's wanted, okay. I wanted you to hear. It's oh, okay. And Maybe I, Steve I, can search. For I keep accidentally I subscribing to things. Oh. I don't know what. It, it's fine. <laughs> Everyone dropped their phones. It's not that bad. Right? Yeah, I dropped. Are phones. we? Yeah. <laughs> so did Rob. Uh, I, I just. He's so upset. Don't Strop, be upset. Strop, start well, vamping. Vamp you, for. Vamp. What do you want me to vamp about? <laughs> like do some talking or maybe rapping. Trying to talk. I don't want to rap. No, come on. I'm playing this. I'm going to find it. No, you will, but we're. Well, you guys else see. To, uh, right. That's what I'm you see what Kamel? We're trying to do. You see Kamel on his I, I mean, he what are really you doing? rocked that suit. Look, I, obviously, yeah. you're, I don't like him in a suit. Your he looks needs too to get this handsome. No, it makes like, you uncomfortable. Too powerful. Like, like, what are you, he looks like he could be the president. What are you thinking, Levy? <laughs> I think that's great. No, it's great, but it's like, I'm man. I'm just kidding. I know he's trying to. He's like a muscle shirt guy. Were you upset that he. Oh, I'm sorry. We're having two conversations. Were you upset? I thought it was funny. I was trying to be funny. Because I thought it'd be funny, it is funny while you guys were talking. That I was like, play it through the, through the, through I just this? thought that I just whatever. Play it into a speaker. Play it through the cord. Do you have whatever it, it goes fast. Oh, he has it. Not whatever is the right way to do it, but whatever happens. Here we go. Okay, so the trailer for the Rick and Mor- a, a Rick and Morty porn movie, and it's not animated. It's people painted wow. blue haired. Oh, we can't hear it, or I can't hear it at least. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's sitting next to my hard copy. Oh, so echoey. Also looks like a giant meth rock. Don't touch that one. Oh man, they're taking shots. Things look I like meth rocks. Mind women waiting here to bang you, you know? Shit. What up, dude? That's unity comes through a portal. What have you done, man? Spray me with your testicle made Szechuan sauce. Ah. I'm pickle tape. It doesn't sound like Beth is lonely at all. I'm Mr. Me, Sax. Look at me. Yeah, Beth, take my bird. Between her schedule and her vagina, looks like she's completely filled up. Oh, gross. And maybe you should take a look in the mirror. Looking swifty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These things just, they aren't easy to come by. They're gross, too, Morty. It's terrible. So at one point in there, it cuts. It goes like, "Yeah, Beth, he's talking about his daughter." Oh, jeez. Like, oh, oh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even need to see the visual. To no, know what's there, there's no wrong answers. Oh, uh, jeez. Like, I, I, uh, I, I don't know where I'm torn. This is one of those things. It's like, oh, uh, five weeks from now, five months from now, five years from now. You got to go. Fine. I made it. Will I will I look back on these days when I considered it an innocent honor to express? It's like this is what in my this is what I have been working fantasize about in your whole life. A community porno, a Rick and Morty porno, because, yeah, yeah, it's a it is a milestone. There is no porno version of the pamphlet you're handing out door to door. There's no porno version of the dishes you wash. There's no porno versions. There is porno versions of people. If you if you if you permeate, if you uh, infiltrate the collective unconscious to a certain degree and no, it's not that much. It's not a sign of bravery or no ability or goodness it's simply a really clear milestone that like like, like the idea of a porno version of a thing that you created is well it's like very the reason that it, it's like it's like what we would always talk about with just like what you know creating icons and things like that is like if somebody could make a halloween costume of your character you know it's very simple you know you've got like these very simple shapes right, you know right, right. blue hair spiky drool lab coat you're rick Okay, right. and Morty, short yellow hair. Oh, geez. Yeah. Y- now make him fuck. You got a porno. Right. The easier it is, the more likely it's going to happen. Of course, it needs to be popular too. But it's also kind of flattery. It's like if you're a, yeah. if you're a kid in high school, but it just it just means and you decided yeah. like you want I want to be the kid that puts on like I'm going to get these big thick rimmed uh, eyeglasses. Right. And you're at the Stein Optical, and if that exists, and you get them, and you're like, and then you're wearing them, and you're like, man. A lot of people are giving me shit because now I'm, I'm the person that has like manhole covers on their face. I got these big giant glasses. But then the day that like you fantasize about, if you're fantasizing about popularity or cultural like efficacy, is like that that you know you're it's like so and so for class president and the and and the drawing of your logo silhouette thing mm-hmm. is like there's this big giant pair of glasses. It's like I did it. There's some kind of like local boy makes good. Like, I'm in your I'm in your sex now. Yeah. Like I I like I, I I was watching Mr. Rogers on your TV, and then I went out to Los Angeles, and I made a thing, and I hit the bell, and I got the cookie, and it came all the way back around. That it's like you're you're, so, you're masturbating to it now. Yeah. Or it's like yeah, it's being it's uh, yeah. I guess it's just a it's just a. Like has, it's, it's cool. It's deeply, deeply ingrained, uh, yeah, uh, in, in, embedded in me. But I definitely will like, like a couple of years from now, I expect to learn that there's some reason that I'm not looking at why that's like somehow like as I'm recording that, going like I'm so stoked about this. This is so great. How can this be wrong for anybody? Isn't this great? If you don't like it, don't watch it. Wow, it's amazing. And I'll be looking at myself saying that, and I'll go, Oh, you dummy! You didn't know. But that's good. Mm-hmm. That's good that you're not like, oh, years from now, I'm going to be thinking the exact same thing I'm thinking now. That I mean, like, that's hope, what I'm saying. Like, hopefully so you're changing. Like, if there's a theme to this episode aside from you said it's it's forgive. Yeah. Forgive the ignorant so that yeah, and, 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 and be and admit your ignorance. Yeah. Uh, Don't like, get into an argument to win. Get into a discussion to understand. Like when you're in these Twitter arguments, don't try to bury the other person. And, and if you if the person starts making you like realize, oh, yeah, maybe what I was thinking was wrong. Be the bigger person and say, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, it, I, I don't it, know about you, but every time the other person says that, I'm always like, I'm always like, all right, got it. Like, with r- few exceptions, unless the person like revved me up so much that I'm like, well, next time, don't fuck around. Uh, but mostly, when some, as soon as somebody goes like, you know what, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, I, I don't, you don't, it kind of like drains the whole thing. But anyway, but I mean, I think that's I think that's a natural thing because when you get into these arguments, you want to bury the other person. We fetishize being right, yeah. and it doesn't yeah. make sense because we're dumb people, yeah. and not knowing shit is means that we're about to learn something, and yeah. we think that that means we're about to have something taken from us. And I'm speaking for myself and saying, yeah, that that's so, your, if you're wrong, you're dumb, and no one wants to be called dumb. But but. What if you were smart? Now we just learned that you can be dumb and you could become in charge of all the nuclear weapons. Right. Like so, no one's saying being dumb is bad. 
you could not know shit and like run the world. In fact, you do. Um, so now everybody right. let's be dumb, which means you don't already know what the fuck is going on. So now right. you can be like, sorry, I don't understand. I, 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 sorry about that. I don't get it. I am I'm, I don't know anything that I'm talking yeah. about. You said Steinhoffels before. Do you guys know? Uh, I said lens crafters, but no, you said Steinhoffels. <laughs> well, what is you Stein? did not say that. You said you said Stein. Let's see Steinhoffels. if you can admit you're wrong. You okay? You never said Steinhoffels tonight. I d- I don't think I did. I think I no, said lens did. crafters. Well, it's, did I say I Steinhoffels? Listening. It's on the audio. Maybe I said. Okay, yeah, we'll I find out. But it, anyway, that's not my point. Tweet at Rob. My 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 what point is, is that's what I was going to ask. Is that a Milwaukee <laughs> thing? I thought I said lens crafters. <laughs> Steinhoffels. Steinhoffels and lens crafters were the two places you could buy glasses in Rob and, Ima- and I's hometown. <laughs> yeah, Steinhoffels. I um, thought I said one. He thinks I said the other. I guess. Do you I'm... know uh, what else was in our hometown? And this is like on my Mike Crivello's yeah. world. This is a wonderful I wa- world of camera. camera. This is the best song <laughs> ever. And when I'm dead, when I die at my funeral, even though I'm going to be cremated, if you're going to put me, if you're going to, you know, <laughs> like Walter me and throw my ashes, right. you know, out onto the. I want you to play this song. While I'm well, 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 whatever you do. A good song. It's a world of cameras, a world of film. It's a world where you can be whatever <laughs> you feel. I can't find the extended yeah. version online, so I, I, use your gremlins those, to go I, out I, there I, and find it, because I I would kill for the full microvello. I didn't there, need to that undercut that. Full. I didn't know I was undercutting that. I I was I thought I was making my own joke. I didn't know you were gonna load that up on your phone. Well, it, I, you teed me up because you sang the okay. song, and you're, it's your show. But and, I didn't know, for those listening, I didn't know he was going to pull that song out. Well, I, I, I'm, I, just, I, I'm just saying, when I'm dead, yeah. at the funeral, which, you know, if you can make it, <laughs> yeah. uh, make sure that that song plays, you know, just to send them home. That's what I want. I'm going to, I okay. Well, I hope Kate's keeping track, because... Is it We're recording it too, by well, the way. Is that in your that, living will? It's not in my living will. I mean, my my ashes are going to be planted under a tree. Do you have the tree picked out? No. Are you going to do it one does, of those life, life pod work. things? I'm thinking about doing that. I'm, I'm thinking about because I think that would be better than because I saw Neil Neil deGrasse is like saying I'm not going to get cremated because you're just you're taking all your energy and you're dispelling it into the solar system and they, they don't need that what we want to do is bury ourselves into the ground man you know and, and give it to get energy back be a part of the world yeah but and this is so ill timed but I this is literally coming in over the facts I guess he he hits women I'm kidding. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. I thought Just it was to. true. All right. Yeah, it's a tough time. You say stuff like <laughs> That's that. That's why I, w- I guess that was my quote unquote joke. I was like, I must have missed that you, headline. How would you know? Like, like I yeah, mean, yeah, a, like, I don't. Dope. I don't think that's true. I, I no, mean, no, I'm, I'm, it's not I, true. I, I it's not know. true. It was a joke. I don't know why you. Picked a... <laughs> I well, mean, let's yeah. wait until we don't know if it's not the true. It's just not. It's it's like milkshake duck. I don't know. He's trying to make a joke. Milkshake about the... duck. Yeah, right. it turns out he's racist. Yeah. Who's milkshake duck? All right, Everyone we don't loves have milkshake duck. I what? don't know. We didn't do D and D, and that's probably for the best. Um, what did we learn? You didn't, you don't want to talk to my wife? Why Why would you? Like, what do you mean? What what who? I don't know. I said, "Hey, can I bring Kate along?" And you said, "Absolutely!" And an exclamation point, which is rare. Oh, I didn't from you. I did, because and I it's fine. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I thought I didn't know you were taught. We I didn't. It's know we fine. Were talking it's fine. About on microphone. I don't know. It's just we were talking meant... about women's point of view. Oh, it was just all right. a bunch I of white dudes now. talking. Okay. I oh understand. man. But it's, it would have been great to have. Kate I didn't on. perceive that as. A, it's I, fine. I didn't know we were having that misunderstanding. I literally thought you meant. Because I was like popping in here to do this thing, and then you thought you literally meant, can you bring your wife with you 
as opposed to not being allowed to bring her well, with I, you, I, like to come record the thing. Not can I bring her on the podcast? Well, she, I don't know. She, because then when someone had asked, should Levy be sitting in this chair the entire time? I would have said no. Let's put Kate in that chair because I made an agreement. Well, you swap people out and have people. On. I don't know. No, I'm not. I, I, I don't. I'm not telling you how to run your show. I'm. 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 I'm I'm giving light to the entire misunderstanding. No, and, uh, and I, I, get, I get it. I get it. I get it. I didn't. I, I figured, I, I was like, we're either going to have a woman on here that we're going to all, like, assail with, like, points of view and questions, or it's going to be, like, dudes, like, talking about, like, uh, our stake in it and to each other about it. Okay. Which, and, and and that I, and to that end, I had texted, like, for instance, Emily Gordon on a Hail Mary because I thought she'd be, like, Whatever, but it, it, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of town." It's like, and plus, where is she? New York, New York. Yeah. She why? Camille was on it, hosted SNL. Last right. Night. When? What day was that? Saturday yesterday night, live. No, sorry if anybody. I'm sure Kate wasn't like uh, all gussied up and ready to go, but I also feel bad if anybody thought I didn't. I didn't mean to create that misunderstanding. No, no, no. I, it's fine. I mean, it's your show. I mean, I, I mean, like just. You know, maybe apologize to Kate. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Or, or Kate could apologize can to I, Spencer can for I kicking his ass at, at <laughs> Magic Cards. Yeah. You, we could get a, an apology. All right. Yeah. Because nice. nice. What she, kind of deck does sorry, she play? Kate. We sorry, draft. Kate. Oh, nice. Sorry, Kate. Sorry, Kate. Sorry, Kate. And, and an apology is an acknowledgement. This is of a, crime. this is what you said when you uh, uh, married us too. Sorry, Kate. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I have to do this to you. I not. I was. Th- I, I. I didn't. I didn't think it through that what Rob was saying when he said, uh, "Can Kate come?" Was that it makes sense to me now? That's like, yeah, of course you're going to be spending two hours apart from Rob. I was imp- uh, robbing Rob from their evening, and then I'm thinking like, oh yeah, he's asking, "Can she Kate come love- and watch through a piece of glass?" <laughs> she while would you- love to watch me. <laughs> be an idiot. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I was, I, I was pretty, yeah, I, I was I, pretty I, sedate. I, I mean, if you I, that, me that truly is how I how, how I interpreted it. I, yeah, was, that's I, 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 I get like, it. Well, of I course she now. can. That's what my girlfriend has to do. Yeah, like is watch me through a piece of glass yeah. to uh, 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 yeah. suck his own balls for an hour or yeah. two hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, the but but um, it's a we didn't play D and D. Um, I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry to. Here's some other people. I'm sorry to. <laughs> Linda Sheen Buckner, uh, fourth grade. You oh. played a uh, little a- orphan Annie in my grade school's production of Annie. Um, I don't know. I-, I decided I wanted to marry you. I-, I was told that's what love was. You, you. What I should have, I should have looked at it like you're. You're a good singer. Um, I, I shouldn't have been like, like I, but I, I, I didn't. I didn't approach you, but. <laughs> Uh, going. F- I, I I I'm sorry to all my ex-girlfriends. Like I, every time I've, I've I'm sure when I've like both in terms of the uh, uh, asking you out and 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 breaking up. Like like in every step of the way. Like I've always been like I don't know. I'm just doing a lot of reviewing, and I think that I've I think I've been a bad bad person because I think that I have thought of women differently. I think I think the same thing about <coughs> me and I, I think it's it it's good to acknowledge and move forward. Because every little I mean, piece of us we're all pallbearers in the same coffin and then it's just because there's like one dude that's like, oh this guy climbed the Empire State Building and came into an airplane, and the airplane flew into the fucking Radio City Music Hall. What a spectacle. Well, let's make sure that never happens again. Well, it, there's something... Yeah, that's it. That, I beat that. That's why I'm saying. I'm sorry. Like, I... I don't have, like, dramatic confessions to make. I have, like, a like a lifetime of... Uh, of 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 stuff to acknowledge and kind of like try to neurologically remap moving forward where I'm like this person's on my team this person is for instance my lover they're not that has nothing to do with like what their role is in the cosmos like they're my lover they're my partner um this person is my worker like 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 if they they make this for me they do that like i they i, I just like i think i've been thinking about and identifying people as shit for a while 
try to get over it. I'll try to do it right. I don't, I'm just going to do it wrong though. And then I'm just going to die. I'm 44. I'm almost 65, which is when everybody dies mm, that, that's that true. did anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we yeah. don't have a way to end the show when no. Jeff's not here. No, he no, would no. like, uh, 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 give me a beat. Yo, I'm rapping it. I'm just kidding. Don't don't give anybody a beat. <laughs> cameras. Yeah. Mike Gravello's world is a wonderful world of cameras. Roll the credits while you're rapping about photographic jingles. These are the credits. All right. No, th- thank thank you, Chris Bereff, Sarah Hill. Who's the, who's the, who 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 do we thank now that we're we've moved over here? Kate Freund. Kate, we should thank and apologize. To Kate Freund. Get the dog out of here. <laughs> Get the dog out of here. I'm sorry. Close Kate. the door. I'm not good at eye contact. I don't know. I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna apologize to Kate in my it's, own way over the next 11 years. All right. Uh, it'll be bits and pieces here and there. Right. I'll I'll get really drunk and I'll go. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Do you want to hear the banjo? I'm like, all right, you're good at it. And I'll cry. <sighs> Sorry, Cody. Sorry, uh, Frank uh, uh, Cravello. Um, <laughs> brother, Mike brother Cravello. Mike. It said in the song, Mike Cravello. <laughs> Sorry, Spencer. Frank Cra- <laughs> Sorry, Steve. The world will end. Sorry, 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 subscribers. Three days, 24 seconds. Sorry, podcast listeners. My name is Frank. Sorry. <laughs> Donnie Dark. Sorry, Rose McGowan. Sorry. Her name is McGowan. The world will end in three days, seven seconds, <laughs> and 14 hours. Not necessarily in that order. Sorry, America. Sorry, sorry. Do you Hel- believe Helena in Bottom time, Carter? time travel? Sorry. Um, uh, sorry. What happened to your eye? You shot me when I ran over the, the girl accidentally with my <laughs> clown friend. Um, how do we, how do we, how do we, what does it look like when you end these? Do we, we don't know, right? Do we just cut the feed? Yeah. You dissolve the We feed? end it by you using your telepathy <laughs> to make the jet engine go back to the universe <laughs> it's supposed to be. I gotta close the loop. Close the loop. This guy, this guy loves like Donnie Looper. Darko. Dry. And then... Stay home could, and don't no, take let chances. Me finish. Let me finish. And then... Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Did you get any of that? It's a good show. Feral audio.